Hello Squirrels and welcome to PPM6 TV. Today what it is is Jaws. Now the story goes that Steven Spielberg first had the idea for his monster shark epic after a council boat ride on these duck infested waters. But whatever the truth of that, who can forget the epic story of three men trying to record a great white shark. One of the most riveting scenes is where Roy Scheider is throwing the bloodied remains into the water when all of a sudden the great white surfaces under the boat. A terrified Scheider turns to Robert Shaw and says the words that every sound recorder dreads to hear. You're going to need a bigger pole. And this is a bigger pole. This is my uh, vintage, if not veteran, Panamic mic pole that uh, mostly I use now just for a bit of uh, physical fitness and for knocking the calcitrant apples out of trees. This is uh, an absolute battleship of a pole, but it's not really what we're looking for in 2020. Now today we're going to start in France. VDB have been making professional carbon fibre poles for more than 20 years and in that time have garnered a solid reputation for quality and innovation. Now you might look at that and think, well Alistair, that doesn't look that much longer than the dock pole we started with. But VDB give you more sections than just about anybody else. So although this pole starts at uh, under two foot when compacted, that's uh, 60 centimetres I think for metric, by the time you've undone all the sections, you've got a pole that's uh, nearly nine foot long. That's a beauty, isn't it? Let's take it inside, have a look at some of the features. And here we are back at the ranch. Let's have a closer look. Just before we dive into the VDB uh, MQT, just a word about the Orca case. Uh, Orca make all kinds of pro audio bags and indeed a range of uh, boom pull cases to protect your investment. And the MQT is a nice snug fit in this 430 model. Now both the pole and the case are on loan from Martin Richards at Soundkit. You may remember Martin from such hit series as Film Tech, The Mixers, uh, but more of that um, another day. Now we've looked at the length advantage offered by VDB in their six segment design that extends in this model from 60 centimeters to 266 centimeters. Now if M in the title of the pole is for medium, then QT is for quarter turn. Yes, the collets on the VDB pole require only a quarter turn to lock and unlock. Let's see if we can demonstrate that with the help of a sticker. That's uh, fully unlocked and we'll mark it there and we'll rotate the collet, whoa, and there you are. So lock to unlock is there to there. Quite a handy feature when speed is of the essence. Each VDB pole comes with a quick release tip and you can see it's slotted for internal cabling. The idea is these cost, um, I don't know, probably less than $20. And the idea is that you um, screw that into your suspension, comme ça. Then slot that onto your pole and you're ready to go. We've looked at the quarter turn collets and the quick remove tip, but the VDB has yet another trick up its sleeve, internal cabling as an add-on kit. Let's take a closer look. First, unscrew the uh, base plate at the bottom of the VDB pole like that. Stage two is first remove the quick release tip. Then we're going to take the collet off by removing this uh, small screw, which uh, fits in there with a two and a half mil flat blade screwdriver. And then we can remove the locking collar like that. We're now ready to fit the internal cable. Here we have the internal cabling kit with our nice coily cable. And uh, this is the rubber uh, right angle heel version. Um, there is a version which uh, is basically the end cap with an XLR sunk in it. But then of course your cables um, are going into the bottom of the thing and that's not so good. So I would recommend you have a go on this even though it's a little bit more expensive. So first we want to thread the cable down into the pole. And um, actually uh, there's no soldering required, no um, fancy stuff. The cable moves freely and uh, almost effortlessly into the pole. Now, here is our um, hole that the cable is going to pass through. And you'll notice that the cable at this point has a uh, rubber grommet over it, a plastic grommet over it, that will protect it as it goes through there. 
but um, let's go down the other end first. At the base of the pole we see the XLR and that just clips in there like that and then we offer this up to the base. Now what we don't want to do is rotate this uh, heel part because that will then twist the cable inside so we rotate the bottom section um, around the thread and away we go and before you know it the bottom is tight and done with a nice soft heel and a right angle XLR. Back up to the pointy end now and what we're going to do is just slide that cable uh, down the slot and uh, slides reasonably easily down the slot. Actually I want to get this right because I want to do it just adjacent to the grommet down like that and with a bit of pushing and shoving we can see the grommet safely seated and our cable uh, ready for action. All we need to do now is reassemble the tip. First replace the, uh, the collet and then screw it in. Then uh, take the quick release tip, check that the slot lines up with the cable and refit. Job done. Well here we have the finished article all made up and looking beautiful. And uh, I must say about VDB Pulse, my uh, limited experience so far has been VDB c'est magnifique as we say here in South Wales. And thanks to uh, Martin at Soundkit for uh, lending us uh, the VDB to try out on PPM6. I should say other, other polls are available, Ambient have some good gear, uh, PSC, and I do want to give up a, a big up to uh, Panamic, uh, made in England, and uh, not, much, not many bits of audio equipment we can say that about these days, and their modern polls, although they don't offer internal cabling, are still very popular and effective. So uh, do subscribe to PPM6, it does help. Thanks for dropping by. See you again soon. Bye for now.